because after I was diagnosed, I was depressed, very, very, you know, alone and fighting this disease in silence. Pretty much all stems from your gut. Seems to be sort of the gateway to autoimmune disease and not just type 1 diabetes, you know, hundreds of autoimmune diseases. I was health conscious. I, I was trying to do everything that I thought was healthy. It was a very, very meat heavy, fish, eggs, you know, animal focused diet. I did that for seven years. Then two months into a keto diet is when I really started to have some difficulties. My blood sugars were elevating. Then all of a sudden I started to need more insulin to try bring my blood sugar level back into the normal range. But here's the, here's the sort of the kicker. This is the scary part is that no matter how much insulin I was giving, it wasn't budging my blood sugars. They were just stuck. I can't even put into words how bad I felt. Almost immediately went fully plant-based, cut out all animal products. But the results were immediate, astonishingly fast, blew me away. Carbohydrates were never the problem. I thought they were the problem, but they, they were not the problem. And I've, I'm able to add back literally hundreds, if not thousands of plant food. You know, the, the interesting thing about diabetes is it gives you a lens into your physiology. I think our modern world is, is obsessed with isolating nutrients to the point that we've forgotten how to just live intuitively and, and just, you know, go back to basics. You know, and the basics are I think a whole food plant-based diet. There's so much more to health than just exercise more, eat less, as most people say. It's such a, that's such a simplified way to think about it. And, you know, diabetes gave me this insight into my health and I'm, I'm finally able to, to live a holistic approach to life that, that's I'm thriving, you know.